So I recently caught up to Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest, and I got a lot to say about it. So I'm gonna be covering some Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest uh, here and there. And for starters, I want to start off talking about one of the most shocking things of this series right now that has me in absolute awe is the revelation of Igneel having an actual blood son. It's crazy, right? It's like Fairy Tale never ended. Let's talk about it. Whether Facebook, Twitter, or the two, make sure to steer clear because I'm coming through like. Okay, so it was about like chapter 20 or so of the Fairy Tale manga, uh, or Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest manga, in case you don't know. It's straight up a sequel to Fairy Tale. It's almost as if they didn't even need to put 100 Years Quest. Don't get me wrong, yeah, the original manga ended, but it's straight up as Fairy Tale. It's 100% Fairy Tale. It's no, the art ain't different, the story ain't different. I would argue. And I'll save this for a later video for the most part, but I'd argue it's a lot better written. But it just feels like fairy tale, which is good for fairy tale fans, people that enjoy it. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't realize how much I missed fairy tale until I just marathon ran through from like chapter four that I left off all the way to chapter 30. But one of the things right now that really got me was the revelation that it Neil actually had a son and the reason why we never heard of him is because apparently dragons that would have children would actually leave the offspring with the mother and they would pretty much never see him again and then of course igneel got blown 400 years into the future with a human child imagining that his child has some resentment towards not so if you think about it so we get the revelation that he has a son that is his name is igneel and the dude is strong as hell because in case you don't know about this manga is based on uh, fairy tale having a hundred year quest to capture slay you know put down basically these five dragons that are stronger than Acnologia. now giving a little history of ignia the reason why uh, he wasn't around or whatever is at first these five dragons basically ran for the hills because Acnologia was too strong for them so when i was like okay so how the hell what what what, what? but as time went on they were basically like they, I don't know if they trained or what, what it is that they did, but all five of these dragons surpassed Acnologia, supposedly. It was just like, ah, the, the, the part where Natsu eats Ignea's flames to be able to fight the water dragon and everything and how much of a boost. You just got to think, Ignea, and obviously we know it's fairy tale. There's going to be some crazy, probably BS at some given point with Ignea. I'm imagining Ignea and Natsu might bond after a certain point because think about it igneal was a great kind-hearted dragon his son might have some vendetta against him like yo why did my father rather be with you than his own blood son so probably igneal is gonna have that but also he wants to fight him one-on-one -on -one, which that's probably the reason he says i want to fight you one-on-one -on -one, but you're too weak right now it, it would be pointless and we've seen when natsu ate Igneous flames he started going crazy and rampaging again and it took lucy hugging him to put him at bay but it shows that ignia is just on a whole other level which again if it happens and it's a bs thing and not so beats him in the most corniest garbage way i i expect it so i'm enjoying the ride up until that point and i'm enjoying the fact that we didn't know this we had no idea that igneal obviously had a son or whatever and it also got even further and deeper because we find out that the son has a human form and that I believe all dragons, to a certain extent, have some sort of human form. So we never even got to see Igneel's human form. And I'm imagining that maybe in the manga we'll be able to see that as well. Because his son is badass. I'll, I'll put it to you like this. He kind of has a similar design to the main character Senku in Dr. Stone. But he has, you know, obviously his markings or whatever. And uh, he's just, he's a badass. I ain't gonna lie. I am actually really, really hype about this right now. I did not expect to ever hear that. Igneel had an actual son and that he chose to raise Natsu and them uh, over his own son, which is freaking crazy. So that is probably one of the biggest and most hyped things about the Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest manga right now. There's a lot going on in it. And again, I'm going to be talking about a wide variety of things, but this was one of the first things that I wanted to touch up on. Um, again, Ignea, the way I see things happening is maybe him and Natsu might have a fight. I want to see him win. I want to see Ignea kick Natsu's ass. I don't care how strong Natsu gets. I believe he should win. But then I could see at some given point after that him being like, yo, you're my brother regardless. And I totally, I'm calling it a thousand percent. At some given point, they're going to have that conversation where Ignea says, even though, you know, Pops rather have been with you and you're not blood, you are my brother. We are brothers. Similar to like the Zerf situation, except this one makes just way more sense. You know what I'm saying? And this is just really freaking hype. Kind of curious what you guys think about it. For starters, for people that don't know and haven't heard that Igneel actually had a real blood son, what is your thoughts on this? Ignea, again, his flame magic. Natsu had just, you know, some bites of it and was able to power up to fight a water god dragon, which 
fucking cheap, but at least it made sense. It made somewhat sense to show that Ignea is no joke, and Natsu and him are gonna have to have a one-on-one battle where I hope Natsu gets creamed. Don't let Ignea go out like every single other motherfucker. He has the Ignea bloodline, please. And if you have been reading it, what are your thoughts? What are your predictions on Ignea versus Natsu? Fairy tale fans in general, like Fairy Tale Andrea's quest. And again, I'm gonna talk about it at some given point. This shit is really freaking exciting. And your overall thoughts and expectations in general for this whole debacle of Igneal's real son versus his uh, surrogate son that he raised, Natsu Ignea. Like, this shit is freaking crazy. I'm excited and I can't freaking wait for more of the fire dragon, Igneal's son, Ignea Dragneal. Uh, versus Natsu, baby. Gonna be hype. But that's all I have for this discussion. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And if you want to follow any of my social media, uh, links in the description below. I'm for Never World. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga for life, boy. Bow. Have an awesome day. Can't forget the music though. Hold on, let me play out a little something. Never gonna fly, even if you try, you never gonna ride. Gotta keep your head up, even if you cry.